Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into the three show. I'm your host, Vinny Paraselli. The intensity is picking up in the NA3 HL as we get closer to the holiday season. Let's not waste any time and get into some highlights from yesterday. Titans and the Long Beach Sharks. Jonas Sabatini got the Titans on the board just 5-17 into the opening period. Then with 6.53 left in that same period, Long Beach's Gavin Dempsey tucks it past Ethan Cavanaugh to make it a 1-1 game. 36 seconds later, the Sharks make it 2-1 as Zan Moser takes a sharp angle shot that beats Kavanaugh short side for his fourth goal of the season. The Sharks would take a two-goal lead just 29 seconds into the middle frame as Kavanaugh made a save from the point, but Moser picked up the rebound, puts it past the fallen Titans netminer, and into the net to make it a 3-1 game. Final minutes of the third period, Brandon Abazov scored his first goal of the game to bring the Titans within one. A minute later, Sabatini scores his second of the game, and we are going to go to overtime. In the extra period, just 16 seconds in, Abazov picks up the rebound to score the game-winning goal. The Titans pull off an improbable comeback as they take down the Sharks 4-3. Coming up this weekend, some are calling it the greatest rivalry in junior hockey. We'll have to see for ourselves as the El Paso Rhinos take on the Oklahoma City Blazers. The Blazers lead the NA3HL with 21 points as they are 10-2-1 on the season and have won three in a row. The Rhinos have only played three games, picking up five out of possible six points at a three-game series with the Minton and Junior Stars. Let's see if this series lives up to the hype. The Rochester Grizzlies suffered their first loss of the season last Saturday as they dropped a 2-1 decision to Peoria. Let's see if they can bounce back on the road against the Tradesmen. Oregon is tied for second with 10 points on the season. They are looking to snap a two-game losing skid. The final unbeaten team, the Great Falls Americans, will be tested this weekend as they face the Missoula Junior Bruins. The Bruins are tied for second with 16 points, just four points back in the first place, Americans. Great Falls has given up just 19 goals in 10 games. We'll see if they can contain a Missoula offense that averages about five and a half goals per game. You can watch every NA3HL game on Hockey TV this weekend. Follow the league on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, or check out NA3HL.com for the latest news from around the league. We will be back next week despite the holidays, so tune in next week as we recap the week that was and preview the Black Friday slate. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'm Vinny Paraselli.